will begin a discussion of arteriosclerosis. By definition, uh, arteriosclerosis is thickening of the arteries with loss of elasticity or hardening uh, of the arteries, so to speak. There's three types. There's medial calcification, uh, atherosclerosis, and arterial sclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a hardening of the arteries, which is caused by formation of fibrous plaques with a lipid-rich core. Uh, and with respect to etiology, there's, there's several risk factors for endothelial injury, uh, age, uh, male gender, family history. These are the non-modifiable uh, risk factors. Uh, in addition, there's a group of modifiable risk factors, such as hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, smoking, etc., uh, that can uh, lead to endothelial injury and development of atherosclerosis. The pathogenesis uh, involves endothelial cell injury, uh, um, uh, secondary to the etiologies that we mentioned on the prior slide. Inflammation with macrophages and, and platelets to repair the endothelium uh, uh, begins after injury, uh, and the inflammatory cells stimulate uh, smooth muscle and fibroblasts uh, um, um, to act in these areas of injury. Formation of plaque with lipid-laden macrophages, or what we call foam cells, um, uh, hyperplastic smooth muscle, fibrosis, and inflammatory cells. Over time, uh, the plaque can become calcified and ulcerated, and a ruptured or ulcer ulcerated plaque becomes a nidus for thrombus formation. So here uh, we have pictures illustrating that, that very uh, fact. We have the normal coronary artery uh, from outside to end with the tunica adventitia, media, intima, and then the uh, lumen of the vessel. A fatty streak. Uh, it, settles uh, inside the, the vessel wall. Uh, ultimately, a fibrous plaque can form, and uh, a complicated plaque can form as well that is capable of ulcerating and, again, uh, providing those um, constituents that are thromogenic and, uh, and with the formation of thrombus can lead to occlusion. Uh, on gross morphology, here you can see the uh, diffuse, uh, complicated lesions uh, in this uh, uh, aorta from autopsy, uh, illustrating the atherosclerosis uh, affecting it. Here's a, a microscopic version of that cartoon uh, where you see the fatty streak that's been laid down uh, on the lumen of the vessel. Uh, and over time, this will develop into a more complicated plaque, uh, potentially. And, and these, these fatty streaks are something that can be laid down very early in life. Uh, clinically, uh, these uh, atherosclerotic plaques can have complications. Thrombosis is, of course, concerning the examples of that. Uh, thrombosis in the coronary arteries can lead to myocardial infarction. Uh, thrombosis in the carotid or cerebral arteries can lead to cerebrovascular accidents or stroke. And thrombosis uh, in the mesenteric arteries can lead to ischemic bowel disease. Uh, aneurysms also can develop, uh, which uh, uh, usually uh, in the aorta, uh, they occur in the abdomen. Renal artery stenosis can develop, which causes activation of the renin, uh, renin angiotensin pathway and can lead to secondary uh, uh, hypertension. Vascular insufficiency can develop, so peripheral vascular disease where you get atrophy, claudication, uh, impotence, infection, and often leads to uh, ischemia and ultimately uh, cell death in the lower limbs, leading to amputation. Uh, vascular dementia, uh, chronic cerebral vascular insufficiency, and, and TIAs can develop as well. Uh, arterial sclerosis is sclerosis of our, the arterials, uh, uh, including hyaline arterial sclerosis. This is deposition of protein in the arterial walls. Uh, etiologies include those associated with diabetes mellitus uh, and chronic hypertension. With diabetes, you have a non-enzymatic uh, glycosylation of base membrane proteins, and with chronic hypertension, that increased pressure pushes plasma proteins into the vessel wall, um, leaving you with this uh, pink glassy vessel thickening with a narrow lumen as shown here. Hyperplastic arterial sclerosis uh, is uh, associated with acute or malignant hypertension. Uh, it, uh, uh, pathogenesis is related to smooth muscle hyperplasia in response to pressure, and the morphologic uh, appearance is one of an onion skin appearance of vessels such as that demonstrated uh, in the picture below, and here I was pointing that out. 